what a very awkward way to start this video. What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric come back to you guys again, my Electric Empire, with another video. But not just another video, another supercharged menu challenge. You know what guys? It's been a while since I've done a supercharged menu challenge and the last one we did, we went to we went to Popeyes. We got our fried chicken on. We had a great time, people. You guys know I love fried chicken, but we're going somewhere even better today. We're going to Arby's. If you guys are new to the channel or you don't know what supercharged menu challenges are, they're essentially my play on the value menu challenge that was going around the internet a few years ago, popularized by my good friend, Mr. Randy Santel. Everyone was going out. They were ordering the entire value menu at whatever fast food establishment that they were dining at. And you know what guys? Like I always say, that's fantastic. That's great. That's awesome. Awesome. I love food too, but here on my channel, we take it up a few notches. In case you guys are wondering why we're going to Arby's today, I posted a poll on my YouTube community page asking you guys to vote for the next Supercharged Mini Challenge. You know what? Surprisingly, surprisingly guys, Krispy Kreme actually won by a large margin. But here's the thing, folks. I eat a lot of Krispy Kreme, and you guys seem to notice that because when I went through the comment section, you guys were going, Eric, please do not go to Krispy Kreme. We don't want to see that. So guys, guess what? We went with option number two. In case you guys don't know, Arby's specializes in meat. We have the meat. The possibilities with Arby's are endless. I gotta say though, my top three things at Arby's to get are the curly fries because the curly fry game is strong at Arby's. Number two, I love my turkey sandwiches. And number three, their chocolate turnovers are fantastic. Now you guys gotta let me know down below what your top three favorite things are at Arby's. Now without further ado folks, it's time to go get us some Arby's. You guys know it's essentials time. What's up dude? What's your name man? Nice to meet you. You're in the next video. <laughs> I gotta find bonus round items. Trust me on this one. Health and fitness. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we got our goods. Now it's time to eat our food. Fight. Oh, hey, Arby's. I feel like I was just here. What if they have any vegan options here? Go to when you're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna get three medium fries, please. Uh, do you guys still have like that meat mountain? No, we don't. Do you guys have the two for five for the fish sandwiches? Yes, we do. I'm gonna get, so I'll get two fish sandwiches then, please. I will try the double stack Reuben, please. And then uh, I'm gonna also do one large order of mozzarella sticks. And then I'm gonna do three buffalo chicken sliders, three pizza sliders, please. And uh, do you guys still have your chocolate turnovers? No, we don't serve those anymore. No. I'll get one apple turnover, please. And then one order of Oreo bites, please. One beef and cheddar, please. I'll do the, uh, I'll do a double. I'll get one medium onion rings, please. And that's gonna do it. 50 25 please. We'll oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I also, I'm sorry to, to do that. Can I get one, uh, one medium Diet Coke? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Arby sauce or Gorsi? Uh, can I just get extra ranch, please? And I'll try the Arby sauce, too. And then go ahead and pull forward. I'm gonna give you your order. Okay. Two hours later. Is it okay if I put it in a box? I oh, that's totally box. fine. I'm, I'm used to it. I, I do this a lot. Okay. <laughs> all right, thanks so much. All right, thanks so much. Have drink? a good day, all right? It smells amazing. Ooh, like Christmas. My friends, that is a lot of Arby's. Now everyone, it's time to get this home and get this all presentable. Not today, Krispy Kreme, not today. What's up, man? <laughs> Guys, honestly, I just tried to film a comedy segment for for this video, and one of the workers recognized me outside. What's up, man? I got Arby's this week, so I'm coming next week, though. I'll see you next week, dude. I see you, man. <laughs> Guys, we'll, we'll do a supercharged Krispy Kreme challenge sometime. I mean, the workers at Krispy Kreme are just so awesome. Now, if only they would sponsor me! <laughs> it hurts just a little. It's... Okay. I'll be okay. And... We're back with another supercharged menu challenge. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day whenever you guys are seeing this. Let me just tell you guys, being a person that loves Arby's, I'm excited that this is the next supercharged menu challenge. What you guys have to do right now, since we're at this point in the video of Electric Empire, is comment down below with what you guys wanna see for the next supercharged menu challenge. I'm actually pretty sure that I actually posted a poll at the very beginning of this video, so you guys have already voted. But in case you haven't voted yet, let us know down below. You guys know we can't have a challenge without the essentials. It's like me doing a challenge and not having a W-O-W -W It just doesn't feel like a challenge. And I know you guys are probably shaking your heads and, and going, Eric, why do you have honey roasted turkey breast? Guys, just wait a few minutes. You'll see why we got this. You'll see. And then we got some sweetness, but we'll save these for the bonus round. Like I said earlier, if you guys don't know what the bonus round is, we have bonus rounds after every supercharged menu challenge. It basically means dessert. And the next thing, guys, that I'm super excited about is the fact that they brought me a box. There's only been a few challenges where I've gotten a box. On the more important things. It's a lot of bags, people. It weighs like three pounds, dude. Jeez, what are they putting here? Oh my gosh, there's so much sauce. <sighs> Arby's, you guys are already doing it right. 
and it looks like they gave me the mayonnaise box. We have our mozzarella sticks right there. That is amazingness right there, people. Who knew that in 2019 you could get a pizza slider? And we got our Oreo bites. Yum. I actually have these in the January card collection. We're gonna save these for the bonus round though. And that is a buffalo chicken slider. Hopefully these won't be too hot. And they gave me napkins. I'm pretty sure they got everything right, people. That's the first, I feel like that's the first time in Supercharged Menu Challenge history that they've actually got the entire order right. But you know what, guys, before I get to this challenge, you guys know I gotta change my wardrobe. One second. You guys know I can throw on the Electric Empire tank top. I'm super excited to get into this challenge. Hold on, I already forgot. I gotta update my Snapchat and Instagram crew and let them know what I'm doing right now. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram and Snapchat yet, you guys can follow me there. Get the sneak peeks first. Next video, everybody. I know we got a lot of great things here, people. We have three medium orders of curly fries, one large order of mozzarella sticks, one order of onion rings, two crispy fish sandwiches, three pizza sliders, three buffalo chicken sliders, one double Reuben, one double beef and cheese melt, and of course, we have dessert as well. Now, Electric Empire, it's time for me to let you guys know the total calories for this entire supercharged Arby's challenge. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And because I have to do this, folks, we're all about health and fitness here in the Electric Empire. Total macros, that means protein, carbs, fat, sodium. Those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. Without further ado, my friends, my family, members of the Electric Empire, this is the Supercharged Arby's Menu Challenge. Let's do this. Alrighty, Electric Empire, we're ready to get this challenge started and get it underway. You guys gotta give the video a like if you pooped it. Don't worry, you know I did. And of course, people, we gotta summon the power of Goku. We have our Dragon Ball Z cup over here to bless us with good luck for this challenge. I just don't know what I wanna start with first. There's so much deliciousness all on one table. I think we gotta start with our crispy fish sandwich first. You guys have been following the channel for a long time. You guys know when it comes to fried fish, I, well, I just really, really love fried fish. Just look at that. Look at all that deliciousness. You have a fried fish filet. You got some healthy vegetables, which actually not so healthy because they're like slathered in mayonnaise. But I can't help but love my fish. I'll pick it up later. Let's do this. We're starting off good, guys. That is fire. I don't know why the first items are always fire, but they are. Let's do this. All right, guys, one fish sandwich is down. I gotta say, guys, since I love fish this much, I should probably do a Long John Silver's challenge. Would you guys wanna see that? Let me know down below. You guys know we gotta take it up a notch a little bit. Oh, oh man, look at that. Let's try this RB sauce. It looks like ketchup. Let's do this, people. Didn't even get any sauce. So to be completely honest, guys, the Arby sauce to me, tastes like mustard and ketchup mixed. Let me just say, guys, it's not a favorite, okay? You guys know we have better sauces out there. <clears throat> Ranch. I'm not just gonna eat this like it is. You guys know it's all about ranch rising here in the Electric Empire, people. What you do in order to spruce up your food in the best way possible is, is it's quite simple, people. Just put some ranch on it. You got ranch, you got amazingness, and you got some delicious calories right there. That's good, people. That is a W. Oh, W moment. Woo. I don't know why I love ranch so much, but I love ranch. It's so good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So our three sandwiches are down. It's tasting very, very, very good so far. Now, I think we got to get to the, some of these sides right here. What do we do? Do we do mozzarella stick? Do we do curly fries? Do we do onion rings? There's so many choices, guys. I just don't know. I never know. I think we gotta get into these mozzarella sticks right here. You guys remember what I was saying last week, okay, about the McDonald's fries? You guys know what you're taking care of when you got your food piling over the edge, and fortunately, can't really say that happened here with the mozzarella sticks, or the onion rings, or the curly fries, but oh well, Arby's. I don't think I've actually done this before, because I've never gotten mozzarella sticks. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's actually solid. Oh well, still good. Reminds me of my childhood. Boom. Now I think we gotta get to some of these curly fries right here. Oh my goodness. Think about curly fries, guys. That rhymed. Think about curly fries, everyone, is that you gotta have preferences with your fast food places with their curly fries. I always thought that Jack in the Box curly fries are the best fries, but this is, let me just tell you guys that this is a completely different story than actual French fries. French fries, curly fries are different. What do you guys like? Comment down below. Are you team French fry or are you team curly fry? Let me know. They're good. There is no better combo 
than ranch and curly fries. Well, actually, there's a lot of better combos, but this is just the best one right now. You know you're agreeing with me. I know you are. Why is there a hair on my ruby sugar ketchup? <clears throat> we'll blame Mrs. Electric for that. That wasn't a fart, I promise. Now that the fries are all done, let's move to our onion rings. Triple fire! Oh my goodness, man. I forgot how good these things are. You guys know, that's how you take it up a notch. How many times does Eric have to tell you, ranch rise your food, people, unless you have like a lactose intolerance, then definitely don't do that. Exhausterizing is life. We have a W, O, W moment. It's delicious. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so we come to the point in time of the video where, you know, I like to put you guys in my video as much as I can. If you guys haven't yet, like I said earlier, you can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and I just might put you in a video. You ever plan on going to the East Coast? Potentially. The next electric tour is going to happen pretty soon, so you guys should comment down below with where you want me to go. Mr. Electric, french fries or curly fries? Oh. I'm waiting for the answer, brother. Oh, he had to hit me with that one, Mr. t Run Diff. Pretty sure I already said I like curly fries better. I'm probably going to have a change of mind sometime soon. What's your favorite slider, Arby's? We have yet to get into the sliders, but I think I'm gonna like that pizza one because I love pizza and I've eaten a lot of pizza in my life. What's your address? I am definitely not giving you my address. How did you decide your name would be Eric the Electric on YouTube? You know what? This is this is a question. Thank you, Jessica. I get this question a lot. So believe it or not, people, I used to be a musician. I used to play guitar for countless hours every single day of my life. The nickname that I, I got it as, as a teenager was The Electric, so I kind of just stuck with that. I don't know. It's kind of cheesy. How is your metabolism so fast? I wish I had a fast metabolism. I actually have a slow metabolism. I just do a lot of activity. What is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, believe it or not, my man, I've actually eaten durian, which is actually extremely disgusting. I know a lot of you down below are gonna tell me that I'm crazy for thinking durian's gross, but it, it actually smells like a fart. Next, I've actually eaten canned rattlesnake before. Rocky Mountain oysters. Rocky Mountain oysters are actually cow balls, so I've eaten balls before. Enough of that. I'm, I'm, I don't want to lose my appetite. I think now we got to get to these sliders. Buffalo chicken or pizza? For me, I think I'm going to like pizza, but you know what? We got to try the buffalo chicken first. All right, folks, hopefully it's not going to be too hot. You guys know me when it comes to spice. Let's just say I'm not a big fan. It's pretty hot. I'll be fine now. I promise I'll be fine. Oh, this is kind of bringing me back to when I did a gigantic 11 pound slider challenge in Vegas. I will be in Vegas next month. I wonder what food challenges I should do. Do you guys know of any? You guys should totally leave them down below because I have no clue what we're gonna do in Vegas. Alrighty guys, so all of our sliders are down. Now, I think we gotta do this double beef and cheddar, I think it's called. Do you guys remember earlier when I said that I had special plans for this video? Well, oh my goodness gracious, that's like a crime scene, people. Look at that. That, my friends, is a very, very smashed double beef and cheddar sandwich. But what you can do, guys, in order to be extra health and fitness, is jazz up your sandwich, not with ranch, but with more protein. Now, my friends and family, that is that is jazzing up your food appropriately. I gotta put some extra oomph in the challenge sometimes. That's just the way I roll. Boom. You guys know what's coming. W, O, oh, W moment. Just look at the people. There is so much meat on this sandwich, I don't even know. That's incredible, guys. And to be completely honest, people, this is actually the best tasting supercharged mini challenge that I've done actually since churches. So who knows, we might actually be visiting Arby's for our next $100 fast food challenge. Who wants to see another one? If you guys do, comment down below with where you want me to go. Let's finish this off. And just like that, everybody, our entire, actually no, well, technically not all of our Arby's is down. That, like I said, was probably my favorite supercharged menu challenge that I've done. But now, folks, it's time for the bonus round. For this evening's bonus round, we have, obviously, our apple turnover. Then we have Oreo bites. I'm actually gonna put them in the next card collection, but you know what, guys, I thought I'll throw them in a bonus round. These are the Rice Krispie Treats Snap Crackle Poppers. And my good friend did send me a ton of tin tams from Australia. 
And last but not least, I have a Snickers bar. This is not just a normal Snickers bar, people. This is a Snickers bar, spicy peanut Snickers. So shout out to Felicity all the way from, I believe, Korea, who sent all these over to us. We actually unboxed them on our second channel, The Electrics. If you guys haven't got a chance to check out that channel yet, you guys totally should. Oh my goodness gracious, this just looks absolutely heavenly. Whew. Just look at that. It has been forever since I've had an apple turnover. I think I got apple. It's gonna be really awkward if I got cherry. I do miss chocolate a lot. I'm gonna need a moment. Quadruple fire! Woo! Absolutely amazing. And shout out to everybody that remembers that January card collection. Just look at that, you got Oreo filling on the inside. They're not the best out there when it comes to fast food desserts, but these are definitely an eight out of 10. I've actually always wanted to try this flavor and I never have. Let's do this. Woo! Oh my goodness gracious. I don't even need to say it. You guys know. Alrighty guys, so the Tim Tams are all down. I gotta say, if you guys are still with the flow of the video, if you guys are still here, still with the Electric Empire, what I need you guys to comment down below is meaty, because this has been a very meaty and semi-chocolatey challenge. Now, I think we gotta get into these Rice Krispie treats. I gotta say folks, I was very, very, very skeptical when these first hit the shelves. Haven't tried them yet, but let's see. Oh, goodness. I really want to get up back. Oh. I was trying to show you guys what these look like. That's what they look like. Let's try them now. I don't like them, but I'll eat them anyways. That's an EWW moment. Gracious, a lot of chewing. This is a spicy Snickers bar. Apparently, this is limited edition. All right, guys, let's try this out. Let's see what's in the inside. Spicy Snickers bar. Oh, dang, that's good. That's not spicy at all. That's fire for sure. And just like that, everybody, that has been another supercharged menu challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to let me know where you guys want me to go for the next supercharged menu challenge. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell, people, right next to that subscribe button so you guys get notified whenever a future upload happens. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You guys know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody.